Okay, we are south of Franklin where we camped last night. It's day three of where we're wedgie. What we're gonna do is do a, a sort of sample of the survey that we're asking everybody to do at the end of May, just to see what it's like to be standing on the side of the road, seeing if there's a wedge-tail eagle or another bird of prey or not. Okay, so when you do your survey uh, for where we're wedgie, you'll be going out into the wild somewhere and you won't actually know if there's an eagle there or not. Um, but we've got a special reason for being down here uh, south of Franklin, uh, because Ezio, one of the birds I tracked earlier this year, his nest was just over the ridge over there and his last check-in a few days ago was just on this hill in the background over here. So he hasn't checked in for the last couple of days, but we know he's around here somewhere um, and we're gonna try and find him in this survey. Right, so we've done, this will be our third 10 minute survey. We're aiming to do six in this area that Ezio might be in. At survey number two, which you might find on your survey, we had a worried neighbour thinking that we were the council coming to give her grief about chopping a few waddles down out of her gutter. So we're not here to cause any problems. We're just here to do a survey for some birds. So don't stress about that one. Uh, last survey we found two or three sulphur crested cockatoos. Um, no wedge child eagles yet. Last survey, we're coming to the end of our 10 minutes and we've seen zero birds of any species whatsoever, but that is still an important result. Okay, so we're still near Dover doing our surveys and we're just visiting the closest area to Ezio's nest. Um, and this has got some fond memories for me because we had to bush bash through all of this um, to get to his nest. And then what you can't see from here is it turns into quite a steep slope and some cliffs down there. And I actually fell down a hole and hurt myself. And I thought it was a bit painful, but I'll carry on with my work. And then a month later, I'd found out that I had actually fractured my leg. So yes, research is fun. That's tough, James. <laughs> James and I have spent the whole morning and up to lunchtime doing a test survey and seeing how it will work for you guys that do it on your own and it was pretty good. Like we didn't see any wedges and that's okay. We saw a few sulphur crested cockatoos, we've recorded them and now at lunchtime we're having a little bit of fun. So I've climbed a tree to see if we can see anything that's slightly higher off the ground. So it's the end of day three, and as we mentioned earlier, today we were out surveying, trying to find Ezio, but how did we know Ezio was there? So I mentioned briefly that I was tracking him, and the way I was tracking him is through a little device like this, a little transmitter, a GPS transmitter. And what we do is we fit these little boxes to the middle of the bird's back, like a backpack. Um, and then these birds are then fledged the nest, and then this little box functions pretty much like Google Maps on your phone. It tells me where Ezio is um, every day or if he's in mobile phone signal. So at nine o'clock in the morning, he'll text me um, and then I look at my phone and I have a little map and I can see where he is. This is what the data looks like on the phone. So when they send me a message, I can go onto Google Maps and then you can see these pink lines, are the tracks that Ezio's made as he's been flying around the landscape. The little blue dots are where he stopped um, and then if you look in carefully, you can see these arrows. And these arrows are when he was actually flying when he checked in. And this is his last known position down here. And then the 2336 down the bottom there is the nest um, where we put the transmitter on him. So Ezio is one of 25 uh, wedge-tailed eagles that we tracked over the last two years. Um, sadly, two of them, so Eugene and also Wilbur, Wilbur was hit by a car, so they're both dead. There's two that have gone missing, so they might be okay. They're just out of mobile phone signal at the moment, but hopefully they'll check in in the future. So that's uh, Wyatt and Wanda. And the rest of them are all checking in at least once a week, letting me know where they've been. Yeah. Why Wedgie Why with me, James Pay. So today we've come to this uh, nice area of forestry roads. And the reason we're here is because my little tracker that I put on Emma showed that she came to this exact spot and she spent about half an hour in this area and sat literally here. 
Why, Emma, why did you sit down here for half an hour?